What's happening, Jubitarians? This is Bradley Juby, of course, and we are now at Free Format Friday number 11. All right. Uh, well, usually it's the same about two people that usually give me questions. The lovely Lauren Meyer, my first lady of the Jubitarians. Love you, baby. And, of course, my good old bro, Al Chambers. So, um, let's get the ball rolling, shall we? Lauren asks... What is your spirit animal? Well, I would definitely say a lion. I really truly feel like I'm a lion deep down inside. Because, you know, to me, lions exude power and are symbols of royalty. And that's what I want to feel in life. I want to feel like I'm royalty. Feel powerful and have authority. Not that I want to abuse authority, but I just want to see myself as better than what I feel like I am right now and, and what I feel like I am right now unfortunately is a sad pathetic autistic piece of white trash so but I really want to feel like a lion and I could roar and protect my pride from from all the sick filthy hyenas that are rolling about there are so many hyenas and they're all disgusting Disgusting and they're sick. Okay, anyway, I'm not going to want to rant on, but you get where I'm pointing at. I must take my place in the circle of life. That's what I need to do. Anyway, next question. What kind of dance would I do if I was dared to? Okay, I, I worded that wrong. Would you dance any kind of dance if you were dared to? Well, it depends on if I have the moves to dance it. You know, if I hear the right music and I feel like I got the moves, then maybe I can dance. But one thing I will never, ever do, one thing you will never see Bradley Juby do in this life or in any other is twerk. No, no twerking. I will never twerk. I'm sorry. If you ever want me to twerk... You are going to have to dig up my rotting corpse from the ground and then make me twerk. Because I am not doing it. No. I'm never going to twerk. I can never do twerk. Okay. Who do you think is the worst actress? Well, normally I don't sit, like to say who's the worst actress, but... And I'm not... And she really isn't even an actress, really. But I would definitely have to say Paris Hilton. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, you don't, you should not be in any movie ever again. Because you're just awful. Alright. I hope we never see you in a movie again. Because you're not even a real actress. Well, as far as, you know, the actress I really don't care much for, uh, I'd say Kristen Stewart. Because she just, she doesn't excite me, you know. And I'm not saying she's a bad-looking woman, but I just, as far as her acting goes, she just doesn't excite me. Like, say, you know, like, I like women who are awesome and make me laugh, you know? If you're an awesome action woman and you make me laugh, that's my ideal woman. Well, anyway... And now it's time for Al Chambers' questions. And his first question is a kind of a touchy one. With all the bad news recently, what's your favorite moment of 2017 so far? Well, I've got a few of them here, Al. First of all, Big Sears 2017 was awesome, I thought. But uh, I could go into detail, but I don't have a lot of time. Uh, seeing Joan Jett two weeks ago, that was awesome. Uh, starting Bradley GBTV was pretty awesome. And now this is week 11 of Bradley GBTV, and even though we're not there yet, we're going to get there, guys. We're going to get there. Also, Empowered was awesome. Uh, OU beating I, uh, um, Ohio State and Baker Mayfield planting the OU flag. That was an iconic moment for Bradley Juby this whole year, seeing Baker Mayfield plant the flag at Ohio State. And he's going to do it again one week from tomorrow against Texas. 
Mark my words. Anyway, and of course, Russell Westbrook winning MVP. Yeah, the Thunder didn't do great. They were bounced out of the first round of the playoffs, but Russell Westbrook winning MVP was awesome. And of course, the Tulsa State Fair was pretty good until after the Tulsa State Fair. And of course, two medieval fairs, one in Norman and the other in Kiefer. Those were pretty awesome. So That's pretty much 2017 for me so far. The good moments. Okay, what's my favorite moment from 2007? Well, this is 10 years back, and I'd have to say it was going to see the New Orleans-Oklahoma City Hornets in OKC versus Memphis. And uh, it was the second year of the Hornets in OKC and the second year of Chris Paul being a Hornet. It was a pretty good experience, and, you know, it was good to see an NBA game for the first time in my life. But I'm so glad it wasn't the last, because the very next year, well, it was that and after the NBA season of the next year, but in 2008, the Thunder came to town. And I have been buzzing about the Thunder ever since. For nine years going on ten. Thunder up, guys. And the last question. If I could go back in time to 2007, what would, advice would I give myself? You know, that's a very hard question. Because I'm telling you, 2007 was one of the worst years of my entire life. Straight up. Especially after having to leave Job Corps the way I did. And I felt defeated and... I'm not going to go into full detail about it, but it was, those were just not good days for Bradley Juby. Thankfully, the next few years were pretty decent, but I feel like after 2012, things have gone sour. Except for, of course, meeting and falling in love and being in a relationship with Lauren, which has been so awesome. I just love you so much, baby. I love you. I love you so much. Well, anyway, that will conclude this week's Free Format Friday. Um, you know... Uh, now, next week, what I was planning to do for next Free Format Friday was talk about the things we hate in life. Because um, cause next week is what I call hate week. But I'm not sure if I really want to call it hate week this week because of all that's going on. Because next week's going to be the week of OU Texas, which I call hate week. So I would have a special free format Friday for everybody to talk about the things they hate. I did have some rules for this particular free format Friday, and that is no religion or race or politics and sexual religious things. Like, if we say we hate drunk drivers or racists, now you can hate racists, because racism is evil! But, uh, or evil itself, or bad drivers, or drug dealers, or pedophiles, or, you know, or mayonnaise. You can say you hate mayonnaise, or pineapple on a pizza, it doesn't matter. But anyway, that's what I was wanting to talk about for next Free Format Friday. So hit me up next week. If there's something that you really, really hate, hit me up and I will talk about it. Well, anyway, um, I, I have plans for Saturday. So I'm going to have my free... No, I'm not saying no. Not my Free Format Friday. But my OU Center vlog, I may do later... When I get home from this particular event, because, um, and all depends, but, uh, since the game is early this morning, tomorrow morning, I will probably do it at night when I get home from it, but, uh, anyway, keep posted. This is Bradley Juby, and au revoir, mes amis.